contesting a judge's decision to put the kids in an Oakland County detention center for not wanting to spend time with dad. The judge abuse her power. Is this the best way to reunite a family? A legal expert sounds off. Tonight, three children are sitting in a juvenile detention center because they refuse to attend a court-ordered lunch with their father. The oldest is 14, the youngest nine. All three could be in juvenile detention until their 18th birthday. Good evening, Carmen and Devin. The parents have been at war for several years now. Court records show here at the Oakland County Courthouse since 2009. Now there is growing outrage how the judge is handling those children caught in the middle of this battle. Three this, this group of parents and children cannot believe the sentence a judge imposed for these three siblings who refuse to spend time with their own father. Under the freedom of speech, they are constitutional heroes for sticking to their gun. Now they're at the Oakland County Courthouse demanding the children ages 14, 10, and 9 be released from Children's Village. They could be there until they're 18. There are felonies that are committed. In, there are felonies that are committed in our state. Adults who commit felonies who aren't sentenced to three or four years. Oakland County Judge Lisa Gorsica last month didn't hold back in court as she sentenced the children to detention. They went against her orders to orders to allow their father to be a part of their lives. She said this to the oldest sibling. You're supposed to have a high IQ, which I'm doubting right now because of the way you act. You're very defiant. You have no manners. The 14 year old boy told the judge he has witnessed his father hit his mother. The judge said the children's father is a good man. She wasn't any easier on the youngest sibling, a nine-year-old girl. Judge Gorsica said, quote, God gave you a brain. He expects you to use it. She also asked the girl, you want to have your birthdays in Children's Village? Do you like going to the bathroom in front of people? These parents feel the judge was out of line, not only with the sentence, but also with their choice of words. I deal with kids who misbehave in my classroom all the time. I've never used the kind of language that I've seen being used in these courtroom proceedings. And this is what it really comes down to, why people are so upset. Whatever may be going on between the parents, why are the children ultimately being punished? They've been in Children's Village now for more than two weeks. Police, let them be. Protests outside the Oakland County Courthouse after Bloomfield Hills students, parents, and teachers learned the Simone children were sentenced to Children's Village until their 18th birthdays for not wanting to spend time with their dad. Five of them are separated now. If she is so for family unity, I don't understand that. On Tuesday, we first showed you the court transcripts, which describe exactly how family court judge Lisa Gorsica handled a hearing, which was supposed to deal with supervised parenting time. She berated the children, comparing them to Charles Manson and his cult, and claimed they were brainwashed. The judge made threats, saying if they didn't apologize and go to lunch with dad, they would live in separate cells where they would have to go to the bathroom in front of others. When they refused to spend time with their father, Judge Gorsica found the kids in civil contempt and had them locked up. Gorsica sided with the father, who is in Israel right now. His attorney issued this statement. In part, it reads, the situation is traumatic for everyone. It is unfortunate that children are in shelter care due to the actions of the mother. Dr. Simone has continued to endorse the children's behavior that she instilled in them, effectively alienating them from their father. Lisa Stern, who is the mother's attorney, acknowledges a lengthy court battle between parents, but feels the kids shouldn't have to pay the price. You said there are people who believe that you are behind this, that you are poisoning the children or you're brainwashing the children. Even taken as true, then the children should not be punished. Then the appropriate person to punish would be Maya herself. To treat this as a case of contempt where she sends them away until they're willing to comply with the court order seems uh, ultimately very harsh with respect to young children. Um, so it certainly can raise all kinds of uh, constitutional uh, issues. Larry Dubin, an attorney who has been a law professor at U of D Mercy for the last 40 years, was also stunned by the judge's decision. Not only does he believe the rights of the children were violated, but the judge may have abused her power, not even allowing them to see their mother while they are locked away. If you want to bring them together, this seems to be, uh, in my opinion, uh, the opposite way of creating a loving environment between children and their father. 
Now, the Oakland County Chief Judge Nancy Grant was not happy with our story and wanted us to point out that Judge Gorsica felt she exhausted all other avenues to reunite this family. The mother has had multiple attorneys and has ignored several court orders. And the children, she says, are not in the detention portion of Children's Village, but the care portion.